you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm going to be going over what you need to be doing in Madden right now. So I'm going to recap all the new things that have come out that you should be focusing on right now. Because obviously, with the new series, Mutt, Mutt Heroes coming in the distant future, the market crashing, the new solo challenges, team of the week drops. There's so many things to go over, guys, that I highly recommend you stay tuned throughout this video. I'm going to go I'm going to recap everything, give you my advice, tips, and little things that I think that needs to be mentioned and remembered. I feel like this is a good video to remind you guys a lot of things that you're probably missing out on. But before we get into this video, I know you guys typically like this, so I typically keep this to a once a week type of video. I might not have done it in a little bit, but again, it's like a once a week thing that really just keeps you guys updated with the whole recap of the Mutt Week coming on Monday right now. Typically, I don't really have a date set for these kind of videos, but I try to keep it when things seem like there's enough relevant stuff to talk about. So that's what I'm doing. It is today, obviously, you guys are here. And if you guys are here and you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you're new, loyal, or old, make sure to turn on that noti bell to get notified every time I post brand new time sensitive video content just like this. Now, again, if you're loyal or you're new, hit, this, hit the like button, boys. Let's get this video to 200 likes. I greatly appreciate it. You guys have been smashing the like button as of late. I know that's the best way to show support, guys, and I hope you guys do too. So hit that like button and comment down below anything you guys think I missed in this video. I always say I love feedback on videos like this. Because it definitely helps me grow as a content creator, a YouTuber, and just trying to better myself with how I come across with content to you guys. So I don't miss key things. Now guys, before we get into this video, I'm assuming a lot of you guys have started the level 60 grind. If you have not, that is the first thing you want to be doing. Look at my coin stack. It wasn't all from level 60, but I was at about 1.3 million coins before level 60. Now I'm at 2 million coins. So all you guys got to know about, the, about the, the benefits of leveling up. If you guys haven't already, go start that level up grind. It doesn't take that long. If you need to know how to level up, I did just post a video yesterday going over the fastest way to level up Madden 20. Go watch that video. Watch the whole thing. And go just learn how to do it. If you guys don't already know, it should be common knowledge. But in that video, I give you guys the most recent solo challenge that we've come to terms with being the best one, how to complete them, and my best tips about it. Should take you no longer than a few hours. Go watch that video after this video, of course, and start that level 60 grind. So as part of what to do with Madden right now, that is it right there. That's the first thing. Just hitting level 60 gets you 200k, 220k in platinum quick sell cards. It gets you a power pass and coin quick sells. All in all, I got back about a 600k value off selling my Lawrence Taylor and using him as part of the power pass. That was definitely highly useful. Now, once you guys are done with that, the gauntlet's where you guys want to go. Guys, the gauntlet, it's just, it's so simple. It takes like two, three hours max. You go play, you get, first off, you get coins. Every set gave you like, I gave I think it gave you like 13,000 coins. So if you complete all three, that's like 39,000 coins for all of them. You get milestones, which give you a free 71 plus, free 71 plus, 10,000 coins, free 76 plus, free 76 plus, 15,000 coins, 81 plus overall elite, the fantasy gauntlet pack, 25,000 coins, and an 81 plus overall elite player, and a token. Now, the token will be used for a, a gauntlet master set later on in the year. Definitely make sure to get that at some point. You don't have to do it now, but make sure you get that done. The 81 plus overall player is just self explanatory. It's a free elite. 25,000 coins is a lot of coins. The gauntlet pack guarantees you multiple, I think it was five free players such as Juju Smith-Schuster, Leonard Fournette, Ed Oliver, Devin White, and Derwin James. I obviously went with Devin White, and if you guys want to know the all-in-depth analysis on how to, which player you guys recommend choosing, I also dropped that video about three days ago, going ranking them and going over the best ones. And you get a bunch of free cards here. These could all be elites. Out of these packs, I got DeAndre Hopkins one time. Trust me, it's very use it's very useful. They're very good. They're, they're pretty much packs. I know they say 71 plus overalls, but realistically, what is a gold pack? It is a 71 plus gold overall guaranteed player with a bunch of silvers. So it's, it's kind of like a watered down gold pack and the 76 pluses are kind of like a gold premium. They guarantee you a higher rated gold, if not an elite. And then the elite player pack, that's an elite player pack right there. They just don't call it that. Although you guys might not realize that that's exactly what it is. So I highly recommend you guys go finish that. Now once you're done with all that, it is Monday. So you know what that means, right? If I'm not mistaken, Mutt Ultimate Team 10 at approximately 10.30 today is gone for the day. And that is the last time you'll be able to go get that token for Randy Moss. So if you guys have not already, I highly recommend you go and go play this Randy Moss solo. By the time you're seeing this video, it might be too. If you're reading this, it's too late. That could be possible. So I highly recommend if you guys have, if you guys are seeing this, if you're sulking right now, it's okay, you could join the club. I also last week made a video going over you guys should be doing these. And at the same time, I realized I forgot my Michael Vick solo challenge. And thus, I did not get the final token and now I cannot get the player. I don't want to talk about it, it gets me upset to think about. 
But you get the point, guys. I highly recommend you make sure you're playing those. Stay on top. Don't for set reminders. Set alarm every weekend to get that done because I know you guys are going to be pissed when you're playing this in about four. What is it from this point? We have, we already have four in like six, five, six weeks when you're, then you get there and you're like, damn, I can't get my free player. It's going to suck. And I know I'm going to be pissed when I remember that I can't get him. But I highly recommend you guys go do that. Now, when you're done with that, this does end Tuesday at 1 p.m. So you guys still have time on this one. Come over to the Team of the Week solo challenges. All you need is two stars. No two stars is this week for Julio Jones. Two stars is literally pass for 100 yards or more, or score a touchdown and just play it on easy. Now, if you guys don't, if you guys don't want to remember the bonus challenges and you don't care about that, just put it on medium. Guaranteed two stars. Now, this to this milestone token right here, Team of the Year token. If you collect every Team of the Year token every week until the end of the year. You will get a free team of the year player. Now, in years past, they've been auctionable. I did pull Tyreek Hill out of this pack last year. So that did guarantee me about a million coins off free solo challenges on top of all the coins I made weekly. And if you guys want to push it for six stars, you get a gold plus team of the week player, which you could potentially pull an elite piece. And that could help you build the set for a lot cheaper. So I highly recommend you hop on that. Now, when that's all said and done, guys, I'm hoping you guys played your weekend league and solo battles because this was double weekend league and solo battle rewards. So what that means is you get everything double. So this week, to show you guys what Weekend League did was, I did not place too well this week on Weekend League. I pretty much just quit every game that felt hard and played the ones that felt easy. Only got 14 wins. Not even gonna finish that last game because I was in a rush. I was out all weekend. I had no time with Series 2 and everything to really play any Weekend League. So I didn't really get to compete properly, but that's fine. I didn't have my team built the way I wanted anyways. But if you guys go to event details right here, can I not do that anymore? Okay, it's not gonna let me. Anyways, so placing anything got you double rewards. So like instead of 100,000 coins, it'll be 200,000 coins. Instead of 50,000 coins, it'll be 100,000 coins. Instead of two red zone packs, it'll be four red zone packs. So everything's double. So there's gonna be a big influx of coins coming. I hope you guys got these finished and your solo battles. Same thing goes for them. Everything was double. So I hope you guys got all of that done. Now, the next thing you guys wanna be doing, if you're, if you're not already doing this, is making sure you're aware of the market trends at this point in time. So we have a weird week coming up. So at this current moment, Due to Series 2 coming out and a bunch of other factors, if you guys come check the market, which I will be dropping a market talk video to go more in depth on it, this is just a quick overview, these cards are going for about 200k flat, and I've seen them for even lower. So the market has crashed pretty significantly. Now, there's multiple things that can happen right here, right? So, first thing is, the cards stay this price for the time being, and nothing happens, but I don't think that's the case. I think that today, when solo battles, and then tomorrow when weekend league rewards drop, we're going to get double rewards, which means we're going to get an inflation to the market of coins. Now, typically, what helps with lower prices and inflation that rises prices right back up. So just stay on top of the market. If there's a card here that you guys really have wanted and you see them down, I'd recommend buying them now because realistically, when all the coins come out, they'll probably come back up and then I'd recommend selling them. And why would I recommend selling them? Because Mud Heroes is coming out shortly, whether it be at the end of this month, like the last few days or the first week of October. It is coming. Mutt Heroes is coming soon. It's been confirmed. We know it's going to come. They leaked it earlier in the year. Now, it typically comes because the Halloween promos towards the middle of October, which means they have to drop it pretty soon because they can't wait till obviously that starts. So I think it's going to be the first week of October, like the very beginning of the first week of October or the end, end of September, like the last three days, which gives us about a week at the earliest. We'll see it. And then two weeks at the latest that we'll see it. So when Mud Heroes drops, they're going to drop top players at every single position, which means that in theory, all these players will come down again. So for the time being, they're down. I think this is a low point. I'd recommend buying some cards you want. Like if I wanted Jerry Rice, you could probably wait for him to get him for 200K. If I wanted Anthony Munoz, you could probably get him for like 220 just sitting here sniping. Alan Page, same thing. Remember guys, I said sell them last week and Alan Page went from 340K to 260K. Glad, good thing I sold, sold them. Steve Young again, I said don't buy him for 450, 500K. He is now 295. Cards are coming down tremendously. I'd highly recommend you stay on top of this, such as guys like, I believe I saw Bobby Wagner before for like 114K. 108K for DeAndre Hopkins, 114K for Wagner, guys. It's just, it's simple math. I'd buy the cards you want now. And if you want to keep them forever, just keep them. This is the time to buy. And then if you guys don't want them, you guys just bought them for investments. Wait a few days so all the coins come out. Be on top of when the prices rise back up and then resell them. Make your quick 20, 30K that you're going to get back on them. And then wait till Mud Heroes and then build your team. I don't know if I'm going to be building a team now. I think I'm just going to go invest, pick up some pieces, wait till the market rises, resell back, and then when the time comes, buy them during Mud Heroes. So I want to wait for Mud Heroes because Mud Heroes are going to introduce the newest players into the game that will be top players at all the positions. And obviously, I want guys like Saquon Barkley. I want guys like Ezekiel Elliott. I want some new running backs in the game, some new things to try out. I'm kind of tired of all these legends and stuff. I want to get some new type. Like our, That's our first big promo. Mud Heroes is going to be our first big promo introduced into this game. Kickoff is not a promo. Superstar was not a promo. Those are all like... Those are all like appetizers. The real promo is coming. So I'm waiting for that, guys. I highly recommend you to do this checklist. Get your Mutt Ross 
mutt levels done. Two, get your gauntlet done. Three, make sure you're doing your team of the weeks and your mutt 10 solos. Four, stay tuned and be on, be on top of the market watch and all the trending prices and how the market's trending. And the, fa the last and final one, be checking your Mutt Master progression because I think I'm getting really close to Pat Tillman right now. And I imagine a lot of you guys are. So let's say you're like 40 fumbles away. And trust me, I know that a lot of you guys probably want to just sell your strong safety and just rock, rock with Tillman. I do. I want to sell Ken Houston, get my coins back, and be able to rock with the free strong safety. So I'm getting close. So I'm going to start probably doing individualized solo challenges to go straight for the objectives I need, like fumbles and wins and stuff, and get all that done. So I recommend you guys just stay on top of that too. Because the quicker you can get your Tillman, the quicker you can make some coins back on your current strong safety and even better your team. Now, guys, it is it for the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 200 likes. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and you made it this far. You must have enjoyed the video if you made it this far. Make sure to turn on that noti bell and enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below any feedback. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.